Hello people and welcome to this video. Today you will learn how to calculate the transition level. Let's first go through some basic stuff. You should recall that 1 hectopascal equals to 28 feet. If not, don't worry, you know it now. And as well that the standard pressure is one zero one a three hectare pascal so the next step is to find out the local QNH the local QNH can be found in meters and eighters for the people who don't know how to get this information there is a very nice website called Windy where you just type in the ICAO code of the airport and get the wind information. And right here is the local QNH in Lisbon. The local QNH is 1019 Hector Pascal. Oops. Okay. Local QNH is one zero one nine hectare pascal and the very last step before beginning with the calculation is to find out the transition altitude i have already prepared a chart because the transition altitudes can be found in charts and the chart is right here this is the Lisbon ILS approach chart for runway 03 and the transition altitude can be found right here okay transition altitude abbreviated as TA is for this example in Lisbon 4000 we have now everything to begin with the calculation the first step is to get the standard pressure and subtract it with the local QNH. In this case, 1013 hectare pascal minus 1019 hectare pascal. And this equals to minus 6 hectare pascal. And you have just learned that one hectare pascal equals to 28 feet. So let's do a very simple calculation and calculate 28 times six and the result is minus 168 feet. We just converted it, okay? And the last step is to get the transition altitude and subtract it with minus 168. So, oh, sorry. 4,000 feet minus 168 feet equals to 3,800. Oh, sorry. 3,832 feet and this is our transition flight level but transition levels abbreviated as TRL are expressed in flight levels that means we have flight level 3,8 but flight levels only can end with a 0 or a 5. So let's round it up and we have then flight level 4, 0. Okay guys, it's very important to know how to calculate this for exams or if you don't have any transition flight level chart handy. But if you are like me and you don't want to calculate this every time, you may find 
this transition flight level table very helpful. At the right, you can see the transition altitudes in feet and in meters. And at the top, you can see the pressure in hectopascal. So our QNH was 1019. And 1019 is above 1013 and below 10131. So we need to use this column. And our transition altitude was 4000. So we need to use this column. And our transition flight level is flight level for zero. So guys, that's basically it. All the stuff that I used for this video is in the description. I hope I could help you and until next time, bye bye.